Now at 11, deputies shoot a suspect from a helicopter to end a dangerous pursuit. Tonight, there are still major traffic problems. And only on two, we're hearing from parents whose children were caught in the middle of the violent end. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Paul Majors. The pursuit started in Fontana, reaching speeds of more than 100 miles an hour before the driver crashed into another SUV on the 215 freeway near the 15 at DeVore. Tonight, only on two, Ireland Empire reporter Crystal Cruz spoke with a father who was caught in the middle. Crystal. Hi, Paul. This father, he was driving down the freeway behind me with his kids in the car when he says he came car to car with the suspect before the suspect crashed into this car right behind me. A pursuit going the wrong way on the 215 freeway in the high desert ends with a crash into another SUV. Three people hurt, taken to the hospital. The suspect foot bailed and was shot and killed. We also learned a deputy riding in a chopper did something that's rarely done, shot at the suspect from the sky. Just moments before all that happened, the suspect and deputies flew past Apple Valley father, Andrew Glazer. Right as the deputy's car passed by, I heard really loud, loud pop and looked back in the window here just shattered into pieces into my five-year-old daughter's lap. Glazer pulled off the freeway and took a photo of the glass around his daughter in the back seat. He's unsure if debris or a bullet hit the window and caused it to shatter. When we pulled off in the VOR, there were witnesses on the scene that the chase had just passed by them and they had heard gunfire. I've heard gunshots before and gunfire and definitely sounded Sounded pretty startling there. Window fragments are all over the back seat of the car. Glazer did a sweep of his car looking for bullet fragments, but didn't find any. And Glazer's daughter is okay. Unlike the three people that were involved in the crash with the suspect there at the hospital. And tonight, the freeway still closed down. Right here, we've seen it lighten up a little bit. It was packed with traffic just 20 minutes ago. And right now, you can see there's barely any cars. It looks like there's a few cars coming down the lane, but still a lot of frustration from drivers. We've heard people yelling out they're trying to get to Vegas, and it's just not happening as fast as they would like it to. I'll send it back to you, Pat and Paul, in the studio.